So this is the data that I took when we had this single resistor and we looked at both the potential difference or the voltage across it and the current through it. Now I got my values by pausing the video and choosing the value at that time, but obviously some of them did fluctuate very slightly. Now when it comes to putting this onto a graph, we're going to have voltage on the x-axis and current on the y-axis. So here's my graph where we have current in amps and voltage in volts. Uh, and this one here, we can apply, we can add both positive and negative values onto the same graph. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to just plot all of this data. So when it's 10.08, to be honest, that's pretty much exactly 10 when it comes to this graph here. And that's a value of 0 0.10. So that's over here. When it's 8, we've got a value of 0 0.08 and so on and it goes through the origin in the middle and then when it's minus 2 it's minus 0 0.02 and then finally over here. Now um, if we then we can actually see pretty clearly there's a good trend and if I use my ruler to draw in a line of best fit we can see that this is a really beautiful straight line of best fit that goes through the origin. Okay, so there we go. And this is what we call the IV characteristic for a resistor. And what this shows is that the current is directly proportional to the voltage. And that means that this obeys Ohm's law. So if you were to double the potential difference, we'd also double the current through it. And the reason for that is that this resistor has a fixed resistance. This one is actually 100 ohms, and it's always going to be 100 ohms. It doesn't matter if we've got 8 volts or minus 6 volts, this will always have the same resistance. Now I suppose one criticism of these results is that the current, um, we only really went up to 0 0.10. So maybe I didn't have the most suitable ammeter, maybe it would have been better if we could have measured this value to more than just two decimal places. But I still think this shows we have this good relationship between the current and potential difference for a fixed resistor. It's a straight line that goes through the origin.